Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to Combinant Science Tutorial official YouTube channel where we will be talking about everything pertaining to academics, um, subjects familiar with science students, ranging from the use of English to physics to chemistry to biology and even mathematics, which is feared by most. Right? Um, on today's occasion, we're looking at some popular English words, okay, and in a short while, we will learn about 10 English words that are popular, but they are however known by a few persons, and um, even those who know them may not know them so well. So this section is geared towards revealing these words to you in various series and telling you what they actually mean. So on spot number one, we have something called boycott. To boycott simply means uh, a refusal to do business with a person or to have any interaction or association with a brand, a label, an individual, or even a corporate entity. Okay, so that is what we call boycott. On spot number two, we have the verb maroon. All right, maroon is both a verb and a noun. As a verb, to maroon is to abandon, to leave someone stranded, deserted, desolate. Okay? Then a person who is left stranded on an island or in any place is also called a maroon. I know you didn't know that. All right? Now, on spot number three, you have the word inversely. Now, when you are fond of being indirect, avoiding the main point, avoiding the truth, or giving indirect answers to questions, you are said to be a person. On spot number four, we have jeopardize. Now, anytime you expose a person, a thing, or a business to danger, you are said to jeopardize. All right? Now, synonyms for jeopardize include words like endanger, in peril and so on and so forth we are livid mm. okay now whenever you are very angry pissed off teed off irate as the case may be you are said to be livid okay so when a person says i'm very livid with you or i'm quite livid with this person they are trying to tell you that they are very angry all right spot number six so our one is called petrified petrified now, to petrify is to make a person weak or to deaden. Right? When you make people lose energy, they are said to be petrified. So we have synonyms like enervated, right? Energy sapping, debilitating, and so on. Okay. Now, petrify also has to do with uh, confounding a person with fear or surprise or amazement. So when a person is awestruck, they can tell you that they are petrified. On spot number seven, we have vivified from the word vivacious. It means to energize, to animate, to make a person or thing full of energy and life. That's what we call vivified. On spot number nine, we have something called evanescence. Okay, sir. Spot number eight, we have vivified. Now, if you Observe, they look very identical, but they are quite different. Yeah. All right. Now we have vivify as being to energize, and we have vilify as being to criticize. So when you vilify a person, you usually hold them over the coals. That is, you criticize them rather harshly. Synonyms for vilify will include words like excoriate, we include words like pylorus. We include words like um, we have um, mock, slander, libel, and so on and so forth. Now we have evanescent on spot number nine. To be evanescent simply means to be temporary, usually lasting for a short time. You are brief, transient. Okay, they will have a popular word known as ephemeral. E P H E M E R O A L. On spot number 10, we have something called juncture. Now, juncture is 
very different from junction. Okay? Why a junction is a bus stop, a bus terminal, or any place where we could tag a motor park, a juncture is an imaginary point. All right? Um, it's not, it's abstract. It's not something you can physically see most of the time. Okay? So when you want to mean a bus stop, you could employ junction. But when you want to mean a point, for example, I say that at this juncture, we have come to the end of this teaching series. Now, I just used juncture, an imaginary point. I hope you get it right. Okay? So thank you for your time. This is just a short teaching on 10 popular words in the use of English. I hope you loved it and I hope you picked up vital pieces of information. Do well to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and don't forget to click on the bell symbol so that you can get all notifications whenever we come on. My name is Mr. Techno. We are Continent Science Tutorial. God bless you.